Once described as the Switzerland of the Middle East, Lebanon finds itself facing serious challenges. Massive explosion at Beirut port in 2020 killed more than 200 people and devastated large swathes of the capital. A subsequent public outcry and stalled investigation plunged the country into its worst political and economic turmoil since the civil war ended more than three decades ago. President Erdogan says that Turkey is ready to help. Firmalarımızın Beyrut limanının yeniden inşası dahil önemli altyapı projelerini üstlenmeye hazır olduğunu ifade ettim. The Lebanese currency has lost more than 90% of its value since 2019. The poverty rate is above 50%. Unprecedented shortages of basic commodities, electricity and petrol have fueled large-scale protests. Mikati says Lebanon's relationship with Turkey is crucial in its recovery. Our ties remain strong in all fields, including politics, the economy and tourism. Trade relations between the two countries are growing, and we agreed during the meeting on a series of measures to enhance our bilateral cooperation. Lebanon and Turkey have enjoyed close ties for the last two decades. Despite the coronavirus pandemic, trade between Lebanon and Turkey grew last year by 80%, reaching $1.8 billion. Following the 2006 war between Lebanon and Israel, Turkey sent $20 million worth of humanitarian aid through NGOs to the country and has run several projects on education and health. But today Lebanon is still in dire need of aid. The cost of reconstruction after the port explosion is estimated at $15 billion that can't be met by one country alone. But Turkey's support could be a step towards shoring up its fragile economy. Hadi Al Alawi, Straight Talk.